Hey guys, Jesse here, playing the Dark Side Detective, a fumble in the dark. Season 2 of the awesome point and click game we played a few years ago, so click to start. As you can see, this is Detective McQueen, and this is a cat. I didn't know he had a cat. It's a black cat, with green eyes, and it's raining. And I don't know where that jackass Dudley is, you know, the, the, the officer that helped McQueen. So, we get seven new cases, or maybe six, I don't know about this, to be continued. Pineapple Home Computer System, version 6.66. .6. What do we have here? Audio on, narc mode on, language auto detected. Language is English. Audio mode normal, how to play, reset games. Audio, I'm just gonna drop it a little bit what is not mode I don't know uh, slightly better than normal slightly worse than normal music will be piped into your soul cavity will hide in your room and hum music into your ears normal narc mode snitch mode activated on, but we're telling you it's off. It's definitely off this time. Tee -hee. Look, those targeted arbors are a coincidence. To turn it off, just enter your bank pin. On. Okay, we're just gonna give it on. Okay, let's go back. Missing, presumed dark side. Okay, let's start. Case summary. I gotta, I gotta find Dooley. Oh, apparently Dooley is missing. Presumed dark side. Okay, let's start the investigator. Missing. Presumed dark side. Yeah, that jackass Dooley is, you know, missing. And presumed dark side. This is dark side detective. Previously on the dark side detective. It's been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. One year? Damn. Okay, do I click it? Yes. Detective McQueen. Dooley? Dooley? I have an idea where he's ended up. In the dark side, you see? And Officer Dooley says, oh no. He a jackass. So I've been chasing up all these. Detective McQueen, the portal here is still locked down. Yeah, well, this was a portal, I think, in a library, if I remember correctly. Dooley, where are you? This was in a house, if I remember correctly as well. Started chasing new leads, too. Have you seen this man? He is in the dark side. And he's talking to this lady that has like the flaming hair. And he's showing up a picture of Officer Dewey. And there's some weird ghost people over here. Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke, says Nuala. Detective, are you, are you in there, Dooley? This is the room from Poltergeist. You see, there's the portal, the, 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 the bed is floating. And there's things and, and crap just flying around. I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've... What? He, he's no longer with the force? Taking some time off to search on my own. Oh. Detective McQueen, so I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. He's on TV, you see? Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace. Or perhaps food has been going missing from your fridge. That, that last one might not be paranormal, McQueen. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help. Twin Lakes. And Dick Brickman says that's some heartfelt pleading. And now on TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like squirrels. 
Detective McQueen goes like, oh. And Dick Brigman says, get off the stage, bro. Get off the stage. There's a plant over here. Dick Brigman. And now on Dick Brigman's morning glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. And this over here is the squirrel. You can see the tail wagging over there. You see? And this lady, I don't know, maybe she, she comes with the squirrel. Might be her, the squirrel's manager. And McQueen is over here. Okay, so let me see what this is. Resume, restart, save options. Okay, resume. Minder, squirrel, Dick Brigman, a fern, a camera, cameraman, Raxa. Who is Raxa? How was it? It went well. I think she she was in season one and she was investigating in the library, maybe? Come on, let's go. Okay, so we can exit if we go over here. Okay, let's talk to the cameraman. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstring. That, that's good, Marv. Thank you. You'll have cranks calling you about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. That is exactly what we were going for, bro. So thank you. That's very much a mixed blessing. Yes. This is a camera. I know you're lonely, but hands off, cowboy. I'm oh, sorry. This is a Mac, not a duster. Nah, I'm not saying you're dressed like a cowboy. I'm just calling you one. Okay. Like a clown, a fool, only nicer. Except for now that I've explained it, it's not so nice. Oh, well. But yeah, keep those guns linging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know, cop. Yes. Let's see the fern. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with or without a bush. I think it looks nice, you know? Dick Brickman. So do I just... Please, go, go away, bro. Uh, let me talk to the minder. What What am I doing here? Says Bubbles. Her name is Bubbles. You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory. Twin Lakes premiere and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. Okay, Bubbles believes she's on a date. Ha, <laughs> date? What? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight his numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met this squirrel through the classified ads. I, I, I thought he was a person. Oh, okay, so awkward. And the squirrel just glares, you know, because that is the bullcrap. Let's see the squirrel. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. The, the squirrel is hungry, so someone better feed that squirrel pronto. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? The squirrel is, is hungry, bro. Someone feed the squirrel. Okay, we're just gonna get out of here. Madame Lemeg says, you can't fire me. Okay. I can and I have. If you were such a good psychic, you have known not to come into work today. Get out of here, says Roy Jones. Okay, so we got a psychic over here. The mystic Lady. Is there anything here? It's a paint can and there's some like goo over here. Let me check the paint can. An empty can of paint looks like they're freshening up this room. Okay. To editing room, to stage, there's a sign that says lights on, I guess I can't enter, okay. Fire extinguisher, board. The board says it's a list of the network shows. No news is good, good news. The news free news show. That's weird. Weather, weather. Where they discuss what weather is, but don't forecast it. And the economical, no price lotto. Okay. Are you gonna... I guess I should... Yes, I'm going to. It's empty. In case of fire, burn. There's a door, editing room, knock knock. Nobody's there. To dressing room, there's a bin and a star star. Do you think these are made out of real stardust? You know that's unlikely, right? Mm -hmm. Still taking it. We received the star star. Okay, we got this item, you see? 
A dangerously sharp star. Okay, that's good. If we need to cut something, we might have to use it. I'm going to talk to the mystic lady. Detective, there you are, says Madame Le Meg. I think we talked to her in the first season as well. I believe it was... I don't know if it was in the episode with the train that went to the dark side. Or a different one. And Detective McQueen says hello. Wondering how I knew your name? Okay, no, so we know her. I, I thought we, we met with, like, with, with a psychic in the first season. And that's not my name. I said job. I was just on the show. Because I am Madame Lemeg, Twin Lakes' finest psychic. And McQueen goes, mm. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody, your partner, Peter Donnelly. His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. She's a psychic, but she has like a, a certain degree of uncertainty in her, you know, like psychic readings. So, well, Patrick Dooley. And again, I was just on the show. Mm -hmm. Fine. I saw you play on the TV in my boss's office, but I am psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the, the, the other other side. Okay. What is this place? I can tell you. I have to bring you. Let's go then. We can't. We can't? We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. Uh, I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, tell you what. You get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on. I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously, I'm a police off super. See you there, with my bag. Ciao. And she goes. But is this door? Go away, no stars here. I downsized the staff into one room so I could have an end suit. Okay, so we can enter here. The paint can. Let's go to the dressing room. Oh, that's the star we found. So you see, the boss downsized the, the dressing rooms and threw out the other star so he, can ha he could have the end suit. Detective McQueen says, "Oh, I thought you were meeting. Uh, we were meeting outside." And Mystic Mystique says, "Huh? A moment ago, when we spoke, you said this is not the same, the same, you know, like psychic, bro. This is a different person." Detective says, "Raxa." Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's a thing here. It says crystal. It's a key. We got fan letters to corridor, we got fan poster, poster with fans, we got makeup, we got a, what is a digger we, we do, we got a lot of stuff in a mirror, but let's talk to the psychic first, hello, are you a fan, I can see no, no ball on your head, sorry, can't talk, getting ready for my new show, and I don't have time for non-fans. What do you mean ball on my head? That's weird. Okay, so crystal. That crystal is melite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. What? I, 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 I received the crystal. Melite. Fan letters. They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. Never work for free. Okay. What about this fan poster? Aren't they divine, my fans? The ball heads. They kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Oh, okay, so you need to put this on your head in order to make her believe you're a fan. Interesting. Can I get this person's name and address, please? That's me and my ball heads at last year's Psycon. I signed so many balls that day. Hmm. Can I take this key? That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's for employees only. Okay. What about the diggery do? Oh look, a diggery don't mind if I do. You receive an item. The diggery do. A wind instrument of the Aboriginal people. And this, a goldeny brownish stone. That's melite, also known as honeystone. 
I accidentally took a geology course instead of geomancy last semester. How do you accidentally take a course? The flowers. Flowers from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome new employee. It's the personal touch they appreciate. Indeed. Makeup. What a colorful range of makeup. Sadly, I shared this room with anyone going on TV from presenters to clowns. Ugh, clowns. I know, they should treat the star like me with real respect. Um, the mirror, that's just some flattened out aluminum foil. Public access, do, do, uh, access don't have the budget for real mirrors. That's weird. Can I take this and give you this? I think I'm missing something with the plane. Okay. I don't find Dooley that way. I won't find Dooley that way. Okay, and what about this thing? Crystal ball. The centerpiece of my psychic arsenal. Sure, people want their cards red, but they want to see a crystal ball. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what is it that we can do here now. Because I cannot take the key. It's for employees only. Okay, and it's saved. Can we go outside to the reception? Yes. Okay, so there's a plant. That's a drooping willow bee tree. How do you know so much about plants? Private reasons, says Rex. Okay, there's pri private reasons. This is a delivery, a delivery woman over here. Who do I get to sign for this delivery? And all it says, I'd rather give you my number than signature. That's no use, I need a- Oh wait, that was a flirt, wasn't it? Says Nur. And all he says, it was. Smooth, bro, smooth. Oh, how novel. Tee hee hee. Okay. What about the delivery? Sign here, please. I'm sure. Thanks. Enjoy your delivery. Oh. Hey, we got a delivery box. A box addressed to Mystic Mystic. There's an interesting clinging from inside it, but it's taped up too tightly to check its corners. Can I use this with this? It's a federal offense to open somebody else's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? We open it. You receive glass ball. Okay, and now we can use this on ourselves. But before we do that, let me talk to a collection of fish balls. Yes. 25 minutes time. 50 minutes from now. The time in 10 minutes. The plex says this is the time. Okay, so it's 9. This could come into play later on. There's a bin. A bin. I have nothing funny to say about this. That That is disappointing, bro. A board says, I think it's meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yeah, the station manager doesn't like fans reaching out to him or the performance. He believes that they perform better when they are attention star. Weird. The receptionist says, oh, you're new. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. Okay, that, that's good. I can guess I can go now or not. <laughs> okay, these two are flirting over here. Raxa, thanks for coming with me, Raxa. I know you can have much time between college and busting spooks. It's the least I could do. You guys saved my life after all. And I wouldn't even be ink spook touring if it wasn't there for you too. Frankly, life been way more interesting since I met you both. I want to find Doodley and keep investigating the weird goings on in this city. Speaking of which, we should get back to work. We have a case to solve. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let me see if we can do something with the balls. I'm gonna try to put this on my head. I won't find Dooley that way. A collection of fish balls. I wanna, I wanna put it about in Raxa. I think I'm missing something with that plan. Mm. Go away, no stars here. I have downsized the stuff into one room so I could have an answer. Can I okay and we lost the, the star so we can I was thinking about putting it here in the door. Knock knock, nobody's there. Mm. Nothing else in the bin. Well technically there was never uh, there never was anything in the bin. Okay. There's a plant here. This plant is called the Wilting Tony. Okay, that's a good information. 
Okay, we are in the car park. And the Blood Wolves. Oh, these guys were in the episode of the first season where we were like in a park and we go we went and take a picture of Bigfoot or something like that. The Blood Wolves, what are you doing here? We saw you on the TV. We're here to do a help. Awesome, Devon. Awesome. Armelia says, how did it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. And Emily says, who's the lady in the car? You kidnapping her for interrogation? Can I waterboard her? What? Emily is hardcore. She's a psychic. She says she can help find Dooley. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? Uh, no, you, you can't. I like what you've done with the car, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, you only need to ask. Okay, thank you. She's, you know, like, helpful. Devon says, Mom and Dud says, I'm not... Sorry, Dud? You mean Dad? I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dud. They wanted to know if you have police clearance for mi minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what courses you have done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended by them. Also, what's an incompetent? Is it your police rank? Okay, I think someone is trust talking to me. What is this thing? A squad car, strip of all its glory. No, it's just the motto. Psychic says, why is there a kid jumping on this car? Maybe I picked up the wrong cop to help? Jumping is helping, lady. Yes. And Armelia says, sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. It's mostly brooding this day, which upside is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. Okay. Okay, that one with the, the sass about me being an incompetent. There's a tree. Few palm trees does not make this sunset boulevard. A sign says P is for police car because that's what is parked here. Yeah, not really. Into the new station, stations. The number two news outlet in town. Impressive, since it's the only outlet in town. Quite impressive, right? Skyline. Twin Lakes. The city that sleeps with one eye open. It's peaceful. Especially when it's far away and asleep. Okay. So, I'm guessing since we have three glass balls, we can use it for these guys. Blood wolves assemble. We're right here. Ahem. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Who wants to earn their espionage badge? All of us, obviously. I need you to put on the, the, this on your head. Go in there and pretend to be a type of fun called a ball head to lure out the new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want autographs or something. Just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Probably. Yes. You can do a little bit of waterboarding if you want. Bag of nuts. Devon drops his snack. You receive an item. Bag of nuts. And I know who we're going to give this bag of nuts to. We're here to see the queen or something, says Emily. Good plan. She cures ball heads. No, guys, we're ball heads. Mystic, uh, Mystic's fans. Can we see her, please? We want her to sign our stupid heads. Okay, Amelia is the smart one. And Ollie says, 100% no, not gonna happen. And there she is. My fans, I adore my fans. And Ollie is going like, oh. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to enter the dressing room. We're going to try to get the crystal bolt. Wait, I can see something. It says, hands off. Okay, sorry. I'm going to get the key. I bet she didn't see it is coming. We got the lockbox key. Anything else that we can get? Like the makeup, the flowers. No, I think we're good. Let's go back. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna feed the squirrel because this is unacceptable. Bag of nuts for the squirrel. You can't go on stage. You had your 15 minutes of fame. I need to find a way to get these nuts to the squirrel. Uh, okay, storage room. Looks like it's the storage room. I can't get by Mark. 
Okay, so we need to do something to get Marv out of here. Can I get past? This is it, Marv. Your chance to get that perfect shot. I just need to get in the shot that shows those Hollywood big shots that you're the man to call for any squirrel-related blockbusters. Uptown Squirrel, Gone Squirrel, the squirrel with the dragon tattoo, mint squirrels. I would go on, but I'm ta talking to myself and I should be focusing on the shot. This is a squirrel-centric episode, people. Squirrel-centric episode. Detective McQueen says sigh. I'll just give you a moment to wrap things up here. Damn it, squirrel, do your thing. How am I meant to get that golden shot if you won't do your thing? I guess if I want to get into the squirrel uh, story room, I'm going to have to help that squirrel. Is this what a normal day is like for you? Pretty much. Okay, so... Can I do the dingaroo thing? Braxton. I don't recall what I was trying to do there. Okay, no. Can you do the bag of nuts, Rexa? I won't find Dooley that way. Bro. Give me the... Come on. I cannot go on stage. Yeah, I know. Okay, so. Let's see. We got... The ding... The mallet. A, a golden brownish stone. That's mallet. Okay. We got the wind instrument. We got the bag of knots. May have traces of knots. The bag of knots. Interesting. It will almost be worried if they didn't. A key for the lockbox in the station storage room. Okay, so. The minder. The squirrel. Okay, I don't think there's anything here for us. The paint can. An empty paint can of paint. We do something with the paint can. The fire extinguisher is empty. Can't enter this. Let's see if there are further interactions here. My fans... How did we surprise the psychic, huh? I mean, what a lovely surprise for you that I could make the time to see you, which was easy to do as I knew what was happening. Oh, interesting. I'm King Ballhead. Bring, bring the mind witch before me. Off with her head. Emily is just bananas, you know? Devon says, what's the most boxes you've delivered in one day? And also, how many boxes can you carry at once? And also, what size boxes are we talking about in my previous questions? And nurse says, help. Are you awfully close, little guy? The closer we are, the less distance my questions have to travel, the more I can ask. That's guaranteed science. I should leave. The receptionist says, please go away. Do not have a lot of mojo. And you are overshadowing the little I put into play here. Yeah, he's trying to be smooth, you know? Armelia says, I am a bald head. Yes, sir. Give me some of those sweet, vague future predictions. I'm here for whatever this Nostra dumbass has to say. I see you got your teenage sarcasm badge. Thanks. It was hard work, but it was totally worth it. To the new station, sign, parking space for one, squad car, the psychic, have my bag ready to go, not yet, and we cannot go anywhere, especially when it's far away, yes. Okay, so we're going to start trying things, for instance, I wonder if I can get the didgeridoo to someone. Don't recall. No. Uh, can I give the, this to the new psychic? No. Uh, can I give it to this guy? Can I give it to the delivery woman? And did the, the thing to the delivery woman? No. Okay, the clocks. Studio 51 paint can. Can I put this in the paint can? No. The melee. Can I put this here? No. Do this? No. Okay, we need to do something here. 
The camera. I know you're lonely, but hands off, cowboy. Okay, the, all the whole exchange about the cowboy. This thing. Here with the storage room. No. I know I need to give the bag of nuts to this here squirrel. I need to find a way to get these nuts to the squirrel. How do I get the nuts to the squirrel? Let me see in the dressing room if there is anything that we are missing possibly. Lights. I can see all my pores, crowd feed and stress wrinkles in perfect clarity. Makeup. Flowers. Lights. Poster with fans. Can I just rip this off? No. Crystal ball. Start save options. Oh, we can save. What else do we have here? I guess we're good. Resume. So you get any? I think it's amazing that we live in a place like Twin Lakes, rife with real magic and mystery, but people are still more interested in stuff like this. Hmm. Any advice? What do you make of that then? Uh, um, yeah, sounds like rubbish to me too. But yeah, only lead. Exactly, not much to lose, really. There's a board here. It's a list of the network show. You already saw that. Knock, knock, nobody's there. Go away. Can I use this here? No. I'm going to start doing like the random thing, you know? Because I don't really know what to do. Armelia. Raxa, do you have? Should we stop them? Even if we wanted to, blood wolves are unstoppable. Okay. The bin. There's nothing funny there. Mm -hmm. The receptionist says please go away. The delivery woman says close. The lockbox key is, it cannot be. The bag of nuts. Can I give the bag of nuts to the delivery woman? No. Can I give it to this guy? No. Can we give this to the this guy? No. And to the delivery woman? No. To the psychic? No. No. Can I use this with this? Oh, look at this! The nuts fit perfectly. I may not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it like an oversized blowgun. Okay, we put the nuts inside the thing, and now we can get them to the squirrel. Okay, so, not cannon. Here goes nothing. And Rex is like, mm. Squirrel got the nuts. Reluctantly eats nuts. It's a reluctant squirrel. And Dick Brigman says, so what's eight minus three? Hi. The, the, the squirrel got it right. The squirrel said five. Dick Brigman says, correct. Did you get that, Marv? And Marv says, got it. About time. That's us for today, then folks. This has been Dick Brigman's Morning Glory. Getting up to uh, start your day. And we're up. Let's clear the stage. Okay, good. We did it. You know? Sometimes in this game, I get a little bit lost, but you know, you do a little bit of exploration, maybe some random stuff, and then you can continue. It is the way of the dark side detective. Coffee table. Coffees come separately, it seems. That was funny, bro. That was funny. Not here to stop me from touching it now, are you, Marv? What are you doing to that innocent camera? Nothing? Okay, let's go to the storage room. Okay, we're in the storage room. There's a box. 
Ob obituaries. Death notices for the magically inclined. The label says solvable in 20 or so minutes. There's another camera here if you want to touch it. No thanks, I've had my phone. You sure? I'm almost sure. I'm mostly sure, I think. For transporting mediums and other mystics. I think this might be. Large case. The label says for smuggling interview victims. What? Label says for smuggling interview victims. It says Lemeg stuff. Hands off. The, the, the box is locked. Okay, so we can use this over here. Right. What's in there uh, looks like a bag. I guess this is what she wants. Yes. We received the item. Go back. Okay. I think we might be ready. Let's touch the camera a little bit more. Nothing. Okay, we might be able to go now. So I got the thing. Here you go. Okay, super. Now let's get out of here quickly. Um, okay. And we're going. Nice. Nice animation, by the way. That was pretty cool. Okay, so where are we going? Look, I know you think that all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. I don't, I'm the dark side detective lady. Uh, some of it is, but some, uh, some of it is presentation, showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. McQueen and Raxa, at the same time, you, you can tell because there's the... Uh, is it? Anyway, there's a place some of us know that lets us harness this power to talk to people on the other side. And this place, it can help me get Dooley back? All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back by yourself. I can do that, I just need to know where he is first. Okay. We're gonna get to this place. This is it. The switchboard. Uh, I didn't have as many demolitions in progress signs last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. Okay, so we are in the switchboard. There's an office, a window, a sign. The sign says, a note from the city saying that due to advancements in technology, people will no longer need to speak to one another. Okay. Raxa says, I'm loving the haunted vibes of this place. I'm definitely bringing some classmates here for the Neil faded game of Truth or Dare. The psychic says, this is the place. I hope you guys haven't torn it apart. I mean, I'm seeing they maybe haven't. Yeah, it's not. It's still there. The window says, looks like they're using this tiny cabin as an office. Okay, let's just go inside. The office is locked. Uh, switchboard entrance. Nothing else. Let's just go inside. You shouldn't be here. Three of you and not a hard hat inside. What would you do if a girder f fell on your head right now? And uh, Rexa says, die. You should, you'd sue the city. That's what. Do you think Twin Lakes can afford a lawsuit? It can't even afford lawyers. You should see the clowns in the legal department. So destroying this place? Oh yeah, coming down today. A crash bang into the earth is a terribly destructive fashion. Okay. And I don't mind saying it's gonna look pretty damn cool. Okay. So, I'm seeing something. Is this like a camera? No, switchboard. The psychic is here. Tyrese. Why is this place being demolished? Obsolete technology, I guess. Words came up on high to tear it down, so we're tearing it down. Okay, there's a secret breaker. I don't think we need to worry about whether the power has been flipped off or on. That's where you're not authorized to be here, you walking safety hazard. A broken wire. This place doesn't look like it's going to be standing for much more longer. Okay. A broken wire. Okay, we probably need to fix this broken wire. Switchboard. Whoa, hands off! You're not authorized to touch this stuff. I'm going to have to clear this place out if I want to examine this switchboard. Okay, so we need this guy to go. Can we give him the melite? I won't find duty that way, okay. Stairs to the roof. 
Okay, we're in the roof. And I just saw over here a ghost. I got an achievement. An eye for detail. McQueen says, uh, what was that? What were that? that? There was a ghost over here. Okay, so an antenna. Broadcast antenna blinks out the signal in Morse code. As a science person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. Okay, good. A toolbox says, you, you can't have my tools, need them for work. This is Gary, you see? Were you talking to a ghost? A uh, ghost, ha. Huh? <laughs> Pull to the one, ghost, this guy. <laughs> yeah, there was a ghost here, I know. A sign. Man at work. Yes, man at work. One man. Raxa says, you see that? That was definitely ghost activity. Psyche says, I feel strange energy up here. The dish says, the receiving dish scoops up all the noise in the area and parses it into calls and secret messages. Okay. Dish, dish, antenna, toolbox. Back down. I wonder if I can use this on the antenna? No. Uh, maybe here? No. Mm. Can we go anywhere else? No. We can go back down. This place is pretty funky. We made a pretty trendy apartment. Interesting. Psyche says can see a lot of wonder in the city in your future. So I'm just gonna wait here and make sure they don't tear this place down until you're done. Okay. Yeah, we cannot touch this thing. Switchboard, stairs to the roof. Circuit breaker. Mm, squad car, not much in here, just police tape. You receive crime scene tape. Okay. So maybe we can do that thing over here. Can I use this with this? I don't recall what I was trying to do. I want, uh, that won't get these construction workers out of here. Okay. Mm. Can I put this with this? No. Can I use this here? I don't recall, okay. Well, at least we got the, the crime scene tape. Sign says there's a note from the city. Switchboard entrance. The window, the office. No, can I use this here? No. Can I use this here? No. Can I use this with this? No. Uh, the window. Looks like they're using this tiny cabin as an office. And this is locked. So if we find maybe a key, we can use it. Okay, let's just look here properly. Nothing here. Leave the switchboard and there's a broken wire a circuit breaker yeah this is Tyrese why is this place being demolished yeah I cannot do that and do that stairs to the roof so here on the roof sign can i put this in the sign no can i put this in the toolbox no the antenna the because the antenna blinks the crime scene thing in the antenna no the dish anything else on the dish i know i know there's like a a ghost somewhere around here you know yeah, you were talking to the ghost, bro. I know you were doing that. Ghost activity. 
Toolbox. You can't have my tools. I need them for work. I need to somehow get these guys out. And then maybe we can get the toolbox. Man at work. Raksha, do you have any ideas? No. Psychic. Can you use this to the psychic? No. This to the... Okay. This to Raksha. This to Raksha. No. This to this dude. This to this dude. Antenna. Blinking something. Uh, nothing here. I'm just trying to figure out if there is anything around here that I have not clicked on. There's a broken wire. Tyrese. Okay, the crime scene thing. Okay, and the mail it there, I don't recall, okay. And on, the, on this, the switchboard. And this, no. And in the broken wire. No, we probably need the tools for that. And in the circuit breaker. Switchboard. Yeah, I know, Raxa. It's a pretty funky place. Can see a lot of wonder in the city in your future. Stairs to the roof. How do we get these guys out? Broken wire. Yeah, the power is off. I know I'm not authorized to be here. It might be here, you know? Can I use this on the office? No. On the window? No. And on the switchboard entrance? Look at this! By the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. I, franchise Inspo's books to solve uh, mysteries by my way. But all this abuse... Okay, <laughs> I franchise Inspo's... In Inspo stores in spook stores not an inspector an ins inspector okay i franchise inspectors to solve mysteries by uh, my way but all this abuse of police power makes me think i'd go a whole lot easier if i just joined the force okay so everybody out and now they're out i guess it's time for tea i'll get the kettle on okay so we did it and now we can enter the office and over here this Tyree says, can I help you, detective? Maybe I need to look around some more first. A kettle, the old water steamer. I offer you a cup of uh, coffee, but I made tea. Which you also can't have. Sorry, city council will only budget it for one mug per side. Mug of tea. The tea is so strong it has stained some Borromean rings into the, onto the table. That's nothing. Gary won't stain a Sephiroth onto some architectural plans and summoned an angel. Have you tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes, wings, and spinning rings. Hats don't come in those sizes. Okay, then we have cabinet. This is where the mortar is kept. Okay, so we got mortar there, a chair. I'd offer you a seat, but we don't have enough. Gary has to sit on my lap on rainy days. Weird. Some boxes. A list of the health and safety violations you've committed since you got here. Oh, sorry. Cabinet says sorry, employees only. Oh, is that where you hide your secret plans? What? No, we climb in there for private time. Oh, you go into the cabinet for it. Pictures my kids drew for me. I stick them up around the place, but that would be a fire hazard. So I keep them in this neat pile. Okay. Okay, we got some stuff over here. What Rex says. I like it. It's cozy. Yes, it's cozy. Uh, talk to Gary. Was that Gail, the ghost from the library? Good, see you again, detective. What time uh, crime got uh, place all close up for? Uh, the death of telecommunications. See, we got both got secret, uh, secrets to keep. Uh -huh. Raxa says, I'm loving the haunted vibes of this place. Okay. 
Okay, so we managed to get everybody out. The switchboard. This is the device, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. They need something to make the connection between this world and that. There should be a dark size phone book so we know how to call uh, know who to call. Without the transceiver, you've no way to send or receive messages. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Can you tell me where to find them? Oh look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go do some detective detectivating, yeah? I'm gonna do some detectivating over here first. I'm gonna take this toolbox. Just a bunch of tools. And what is this? You receive item. Sketchy address. Hastily written address down at one of the piers. I wonder what this connects with. Okay. Yeah, it goes activity, the antenna. The receiving dish, scoop this thing. The sign says man at work. No longer. Okay, can we do something with this? No. Can we do something with this? No. Nothing here. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go and get the dark side phone book first. Yes, there's a lot of wonder in the city. Uh, do you know this? No. And do you know this? Okay. I would help if I knew what the address link with first. Okay, so we need to go to that. But we don't know what it links with. Let's talk to this guy about this. No? What about here? Bro, do you know this? I think I'm missing something. Do something with the mug of tea. And the kettle. Down of one of the piers. Mm. If you need anything else, just ask. But like, just ask. Only ask. Don't expect a reply or anything. We're forbidden by city regulations to provide more than one unit for help. Oh. Okay. You receive item. Manifest. This says the book was sent to an auction house for resale. The wires seem to have been scrapped. Okay, so we got information. The transceiver's listing has been scratched out. I wonder where it went. Can I combine this with this? I wonder if the AI item scratched off the manifest can be found at this mysterious address. Only one way to find out. Let's mark it on the map. Okay. So, let's go to the squad car. So, where to begin the search? Okay, we're making progress, people. We're going to go first to the auction house. We can go to the juncture for the thing. Okay, so these are the three items that we need to go and find, you see? So, auction house. Drive to the auction house. Okay, we're in the auction house. It's Yok Sotherbis. Because of Yok Sotherbis. Moldy sandwiches, half-eaten hot dogs, rock-hard porridge, get all your festering food needs met here. It's cold brewery. Okay, you, you're kind of weird, bro. Twin Lakes, finest purveyor of gun-off food. Is that a thing I think people want? People are auction houses like all things. Why not all food? I serve gourmet food sourced locally from the beans of Twin Lakes' finest restaurants at a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crust on the house. Uh, thanks. You receive item, stale pizza. Twin Lakes finest purveyor of gone off food. Is that a thing? I think people want? Oh yeah, 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 that's the thing I, I already read. A fly salad? Congealed soup? Some fuzzy sushi maybe? This conversation is doing more harm to my sanity than those eerie statues. Yes, this, this thing's over here. Is it me or just looking at this makes you feel like you're in another dimension? The bubbles, they're so round, so many dimensions. Okay. Raxa says, your adventures bring you all over the city. I've never been anywhere like this before. Yes, I usually are set in one place, but we blew the budget on this first case to impress the audience. It's all downhill from here. Case 4 is set in a kitchen cupboard. Okay, good. Good to know. Stall. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, right mouse button cancels the thing. Let's enter the auction house. 
So how about this for this Faberge J a acorn? It's not a Faberge J egg, it's a Faberge J acorn. Let me see. Whoa, the coloring, the fine detail, the wait a second, it's fake. Had the wrong number of scales painted on the co uh, cupule. Oh, I can fix that, not a problem, I'll just add a few more. It's a speed. Already too many. Yep, uh, of course, remove a few over here. But I know it's a fake now, it's not buying a fake, even if it looks good. Oh, lady, you're killing me here, says Pete. Anastasia says, mm. Oh, yeah, that's fair, very fair. You can buy it for me, I gotcha. Now, my um, twin, identical in all ways, uh, that he's got a fake or a real mustache. Can you buy it from him? Please leave, says Anastasia. Ah, what a lot of rubbish. Into the trash with this. Okay, something is now here in the trash. Uh, if he's just going to trash that, we might as well take it. Do you always take stuff from the trash? Oh yeah, most of it is not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, old receipts in here. Oh, I'm banned from all good dry cleaners. You receive an item, fake Faberge egg. If a fake Faberge acorn, stale pizza. I don't know why we have like these things. Okay, so the lady. I think some people will try to sell us if there were some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clay urn with strange markings. Damn it, McKing! Another tried to give me a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dooley! And another trying to sell us a ball cap and fungal beard saying it was from another dimension. Damn it, me! Yeah, sorry. Okay, what do we have here? Sword. Raxa says the crap rich people send their money on. Think of all the healthcare that could be bought with this money. You can't put universal healthcare on a splint in your foyer and use it to make your rich friends feel lesser, young lady. Okay. Nothing. Just a regular old bill now. I robbed of, of his treasures like Carter did the pyramids phone book. That looks like the book we need. It has confusing scribbles or, or, or of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take the thing with all this security. I guess I'll need to find something to swap with it. I mean, a few pages would be enough. Okay, we need to swap something. The skull. This claims to be the horn skull of an imp. A trophy. The world's first ever trophy awarded to the artist for trophy making. Weird. This painting looks like it's us, but in some green foggy place. Yeah, like this, you see? I wouldn't stare at that for too long. That sure is a painting. Sure is. Whatever it's meant to be, sure looks like it. Never noticed it before? You look a bit like Caesar. It's a bust, you see? A two, Rexa. A mask applied to face for possession. Oh, interesting. And a vase says, this soul jar contains seven souls. One of which is very good and two are very bad. Anything else here? To bidding room. Okay, so we need to swap this thing with something. We're going to the bidding room. Yog Satothrus B. As a guard says, yeah, look, uh, not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the auctioneer is back. Back? From where? I don't know, I think he went off one to the piers to get cookies or something. Equally rubbish and irresponsible. Okay, so we need to go to the pier. Hey guys, is this being auctioned today? No, that's part of the normal setup here, not for sale. That's a shame, you just lost out on seeing me bid, underbid and getting out price almost immediately. This would be great to play games on. Just think how crisp out pixels would look on something this side. Uh, chairs, podium, the auctioner's podium, that's probably the only place I can get my actual hands on pages from the book. Oh. Okay, so we can swap it, but over here. We had something to replace them with, that's where we could do the switch. Okay. And the chairs, the chair is worth more than my entire apartment. Mine too. That's sad, you know, that is really sad. Oh yeah, auctioneer is only back there. No hammer, no enter. Okay, we need a hammer to enter that. Okay, we're gonna leave this and we're gonna go to the pier. These adventures are much bigger, you know, uh, than the ones in the first case. Let's see why somebody would have a hidden address for this place. Okay. 
probably to do with the secret black market that's here. The what now? This thing, you see? This is from Five Nights at Freddy's. This is Vince. This is Mark. It's a TV. It's a life ring. Painted metal hoop, probably not entirely fit for purpose. The seagull. Poor uh, guy looks angry. Probably out of work thanks to those robots. Can I give this to the seagull? No. A robo monkey. Oh, this little monkey, says Norm Beerson. Uh, this little monkey man would love a new home, don't you think? When this, uh, his kind evolve and take over the planet, you'll be glad to have one of them on your side. Okay, what do we have? Robotic birds. A pair of love birds. All the joy of seeing two birds programmed to be in love. None of the pesky emotions or cleanup. What can I do for you? Need a robotic roomie, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic hunting hound? We accept cash, card, check, meat, of course, berries, honey, and porridge. But only if the temperature is just right. Oh, that was uh, like the, 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 the Goldilocks, uh, you know, like joke. Can I give you the pizza? I think I'm missing something. Can you give me the acorn? No, can I give you the millet? What would you offer this delicious looking honey stone to me, a normal person with no strong affinity towards honey? I'm not sure yet, but my gut says I should swap it with something you have. Like what? I don't know. Let me see. You an animal person? I have a cat. Well, a cat won't kill robotic birds. Take them home, fill your apartment with the emotionless joys of fake pets. They're like fake plants, but even less rewarding. Thanks. Uh, sweet. And a soft golden honey stone. Bringing back entirely bear free memories of my youth. This guy is a bear. You receive item. Robotic birds. Two soulless robotic birds. Okay. Vince. Now you know me, Vince. The last regular human person to have an opinion or agenda. Uh, Vince says, we just jumbo jet met. Heck, why would I even get one of those things at the perfectly normal human college I went to? This guy is not a... It's, it's not a... It's not a... Like a person. It's a... It's a, it's a bear. No, 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 no. That's not the kind of be human guy I am. Oh, bear. But animals should be left to roam freely, don't you think? Free to wander the streets for hungry birds to eat. Why does the natural order of things? Small, juicy animals at the bottom, normal two legged twarm, furless people like us in the middle, and the majestic bear at the top eating whatever. Uh, they. Uh, Eat, uh, at the top, eating whatever they, they want, carefree and with no fear of retribution. Are you Wilson? I think this guy is Wilson. I'm gonna start calling you Wilson, and I'm gonna keep an eye on you, you psychotic bear. But what about humans like you and me, you cry. Our tedious non-bear life is empty, save for my tasty little pal to keep me company. Hey! And, and that, Vince, is where my animal robots come in, programmed with all the love and affection you could want, but without the bad behavior, toilet manners, and inaccessibility to hungry, hungry bears. It's a win-win situation. Really. Wilson, I'm not sure... Can you eat this? No. You want to eat that? No. So, Vince and Mark. Welcome to Mark's IT for all of your not too hard to fix IT jobs. Black market, speakeasy, and steakhouse out back. Okay. What was that last, last bit? Uh, nothing. Just my plurish uh, acting up. Okay. Can you do something with the robotic birds? No. And with the Fabergé thing? No. And with the stale pizza? No. Wanna buy a mostly working TV? Uh, no. Well, hold up, Detective. In what way is this mostly working? Well, everything works except the power switch. How much? Hmm. Soviet tech. Like the look of that? It's on special offer today. What's the offer? It's a, you, it's a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours kind of thing. Go on. Well, I can see you're wearing a TLTV visitor's badge. And I saw you on the TV earlier advertising something said. Yeah. Anyway, I want some TV time like that for my business, so I recorded an advert. You use your media connections and get this air, and the unspecified foreign tech is yours. 
I'll see what I can do. Cool. Now where about at the back of your one scratch? I need the lower back done, please. It's been annoying me for ages and my arms just can't reach. What? You want me to scratch your back for real? We got a VHS tape, that's good. Radio, just one of the very cutting edge pieces of tech we saw here. Ship wheel, don't touch that, you'll turn the entire pier off course. What? Excuse me, is this the way to the secret black market? Well, that depends whether you know the password or not. The password? Oh, you do know it. Welcome, friend. In you go and enjoy yourself. And remember, no cops is the law. Okay, we're in the secret black market. But this is detective, the Twin Lakes black market. Hmm. So, uh, uh, to let toilet, misfortune cookies. Misfortune cookies? The fortune cookie market is saturated and making a niche for myself. This is Mr. Wang. Okay, good. So we got a lady says, "What am I going? Uh, what am I going to wish for? Lots of money," says Connor. Eternal youth, world peace. That's all good, but I think I just want a giant trifle, like huge, big enough to swim it. I hope this isn't a giant marshmallow man kind of moment. Kid, make a wish. I wish I was the wish giver. Mechanical clair clairvoyant. Quiet your fleshy word hole. Zoltar is about to dispense some powerful wisdom. Oh, this is the guy from the Tom Hanks movie. Your cat has too many eyes. Huh? Quiet your fleshy word hole. Zoltar is about to dispense some, uh, dispense some powerful wisdom. Brown is not a good color for you. What? Your cat has too many eyes. Okay, that's the wisdom. We had a box, don't touch that, for perfectly safe reasons that won't get me arrested. Want to buy a gold plated card? No. A, what is it? The paw. You took a monkey paw with you? Of course. How do you get rid of a curse if not by passing it on? Unrelated, I can interest you, interest you in an entirely curse free, wish granting charm, young lady. How bad a curse are we talking here? Raxa! Books. Are those banned books? If I am selling them, they're legal. That's the law. Burn in the coven. What to expect when you're witch specting? Workplace of culture. Turn your cabal into a summoning safe space. And the book of unsympathetic magic. You did this to yourself. This sounds pretty suspect to me. Yeah, but you're a cop. You're paid to find things to be suspicious about. Yes, we are. And I am damn good at it. I am a king is here. This is jackass. Well, look who it is, Detective Magno Partner. Uh, you know this is illegal, what are you even doing here? I have a party, goodbye. But King, you know about the black market? Of course I do, all the cool cats of Twin Lakes do. Not surprised to find out you didn't, dork. You know this is all illegal, right? That's why it's called the black market. God, you're such a dork for the law, you should marry the law. Marry it and have little legal babies. What have you been doing here? Best cookies in the city or down there on the right? So good, there's always a queue for them. Unless you're badass cops who confiscate nerds' cookies. Ha ha ha. And before you even think about asking, no, I'm not sure. Get your own. You probably love queues. You're gonna marry the law. They have an affair with a queue. That's how boring you are. I have a partner, you jackass. I just don't know where he is. But Rex and me are gonna find him. And you look pretty dumb. I don't know if somebody with hair like that can even look dumb. She gets it. Not you too, Rex. Shrugs. Hey, McQueen. Yeah? I hope you do fine, Dudley. Thanks. It feels less mean bullying two dogs, you know? Okay. Thank you. Transceiver. The transceiver. You bought it. What did you pay for it? Also give it to me. No way, police don't have any power here. The black market is like neutral territory. That's definitely not true. Pretty sure it is. This is like neutral territory, but neutral in the sense that it is pro me and anti you. Okay, so what do we do with this? Yeah, I thought you warned this place against people like you, by which I mean you, only you. Uh, who sold you that transceiver and what did they want for it? 
Not saying that kind of black market occult dealer would I be if I read out every person buying curses, voodoo dolls, or flying cauldrons. My business would crumble if people thought there was no confidentiality. Was a guy dressed as a builder? Yes, was a builder. I need that transceiver. Was it worth? Nothing. And confiscated it. Police business. Haha, <laughs> you can't. Your division was closed down. You don't have the power to take things just because they look spooky anymore. Be sure to let you know if it goes above the speed limit, though. Where did you hear that? I move in certain circles. Talk to certain people. I'm a connected man. And the king whistles innocently. Side. What do I need to do to get it, then? Oh, I know. Sinister cackle. Oh, I mean sinister cackle. My business is suffering because of another cookie factory down the road. Put them out of business and the thingy is yours. Think of Doodly, detective. I'll see what I can do. What are misfortune cookies? Cookies for a more pessimistic punter. Best eaten with a glass of milk that's half empty. What happened to your shop? Burned down mysteriously after your visit, but coinc coincidentally before the cops you sent to search the place had arrived. Oh, we got this guy in the last season then. The universe is pretty random, right? Yes. Goodbye. Good riddance, more like. Okay, we need to put... Okay, here are the cookie shops. Shop. Second hand uh, hands that run like new. Or de-adicated de 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 necrologists work at the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically. Organ bucket. Second hand hands, yes. I can enter this. We got... Man with tiny hammer. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, late, late. But I do I care? I do not. I want those cookies and I want them bad. This guy has a tiny hammer and we need a hammer. Queuing. What all these people are queuing for? The sea hack cookies by the look of it. Mm, okay. Menu. Sea hack soggy biscuits. The flavor is in the wetness. Alleyway. Cookie shop. What a sinister looking sign. This might be the shop one wants to close down. Can I enter this? Oh, yes I can. You're next, hon. What can I do for you? What? Malik says, haha, I'm not sure. I wish I could buy the lot. Well, I'm sure as heck ain't gonna stop you. I mean, I wish I could afford that, too. Okay. You have fixed access, don't you? A car, house, family, stuff you can sell. This is Kitty Wampus. Oh, hey, I can sell that stuff. Ask yourself this. Does any of that stuff make you feel as good as our delicious freshly brined biscuits? Oh gosh, you have me there. Something seems off here. Very. Okay, so Raxa says this place seems suspicious. Oh, sorry. No, no, not at all. Did you want to? Gosh, no, please. It's your game. I'm okay. Anyway, I think we'll agree this place is suspicious. Yes. They were both talking at the same time. The punter says they do taste magical, like kissing the girl of your dreams, or riding a roller coaster for the first time, or kissing a roller coaster, or... Uh, Cash Reggie says, hey, hands where you can see them, Johnny Long Pockets. Hag Mother. Well, look you see, girls. Bonafide man of the law. What can we do for you, detective? Nothing, just browsing. Browsing is cop for Snoopy. No, no, Millicent. Why, I'm sure the nice man... And his lost friend have the very best intentions. I'm not lost. Oh, I don't know about that, honey. You look like you need some discipline in your life, some guidance. Well, you should consider to, uh, joining the Sea Hags and giving yourself over to the Deep Mother. The Deep Mother? Why? She's the metaphorical go goddess in all of us. And of course, the very real goddess is deep in the ocean, waiting for the sea levels to rise and drown the land folk who forsook her. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. I may pass, thanks. Well, that's but your choice and your loss. I hope you can swim, lady. Cookies. No free samples, I'm afraid. All you're gonna do is to join the queue like all the other idiosyncratic customers. Uh, Caphead Bonnie. You're a quiet one. Mama said never talk to a policeman. Mama harbored some institutionalized sexism, but I think, deep down, she meant never talk to the police. Okay. What are you looking at? A chump like you who can't control where he's snooping don't deserve eyes. Hear that? Next batch almost ready. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, heck yeah, Maleficent. There's no room for potty mouths under the sea. 
cookie jars. For all those cookies have been pre-ordered, I can take your details and a massive down payment for the next batch if you like. Maybe later. One more step up and I'm gonna play you like an accordion. Okay, we don't do that then. We go over here in the alleyway. What is this guy? Man in a big coat. Good time, Charlie. Uh, well, hey there, little fella. You looking for a good time? Uh huh. My name's Charlie and I like hanging out. Want to go skydiving? Invite your old pal, Charlie. Need a body for a dangerous climb? Then Charlie's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of a highway and stare death in the eye? Charlie is in. So, wanna do something? We can, we're in the middle of something, sorry. Oh man, nobody wants to hang out with old Charlie. I'm so bored, I wish I had something fun to do while I wait for someone to wanna hang out with me. Okay, so this is Charlie, a good time. A wheelie bean. If we could move this, I could get into that vent. Let's do it. Uh, it's too heavy for just the two of us. What can we ask, Charlie? Hey there, little fella. Uh, come on. I wanna help. I need help, bro. You could help us move the bin? Oh yeah, you're right. I could help with that. Thanks. Sorry, I mean, I could help, but I won't. That's like four seconds fun for Charlie. I'm extreme life can extreme life kind of guy. Bin is no challenge. Then you'll be gone, Charlie will be here long with nothing to do. So tell me this, what's Charlie gonna do for fun once the bean is pushed and you folks are gone, eh? Don't leave me with you here twiddling my thumbs. Okay, so this guy is not gonna help. That leads into the back of the Seahead building. Her, I can't reach it, need to find another way. Come on, bro. Are you gonna help me with the thing? Come on. Move the bin. Uh, can I give you this thing? No, can I use the robotic birds? The Afar J acorn? No. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the bazaar. Go back to this. Go back to this. I'm going to go to the TV station. Hey, bro. You again? I hope you can bring more screaming children with you to ruin my love life. Oh, sorry. The editing room, knock knock, nobody's here. The camera. The fern. Storage room. There's another camera here, yes. Some boxes. Can we use this and this? This and this. Hmm. How do I need to do something here in the editing room, but it's not going to happen easily. Can you give this to Mar for me to get it on her? Sure thing, I'm just going to put it in the inbox basket. The crap is wrong with you. Did you just drop my tape in the bin? No, that's my filing system. If you look closely, you'll see I find my broken heart in there too. After the kids chased the delivery woman and gave away. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe we need to find the, 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 the delivery lady. Hey, the squirrel! Uh, hello? That man, he will now pass on your videotape. Oh, the Merle speaks, the squirrel speaks. Uh, well, I will help you. Thank you, Merle. Where's your handler gone? She was not my handler, she was my date. But now, I have the pose of her. Uh, what? We'll send them home with the cab fare. Why am the gentle squirrel, you know? Oh, it's also like a French squirrel, you know? Why are you still here? Why do you want to help me? They humiliate me. They make me count like the performing monkey. I will steal back your video and meet you in the control room. Viva la resistance. Okay, so it's like a French revolutionary squirrel. Which, for me, is good. The squirrel stole the thing. 
The editing room is now accessible. Knock knock. Marv says come in. Okay, there's a quarrel with the thing. Can you give me the thing? He's got the tape. He's pointing at Marv. I guess we just need to distract him. Okay. Hey Marv. So how are things Marv? Things are adequate. Thanks for asking. You have a uh, time to talk? Oh no, gotta edit this morning's show. Station manager wants more fun squirrel and less sad policemen. Oh, okay. Sorry. Acorn cabinet. Nice acorn collection. Thanks. I've been gathering them for a while now. They're my pride and joy. I keep them locked away in this very secure display case that I never open save to add new acorns. Okay, I have an acorn. What's all this? I've been trying to write a TV script about a cop who solves spooky crimes, but the main character is just too, so boring. Wrong with you, bro. One more frame for that perfect edit. I cut too soon. Data bank, the programming database. I just need to get an ad on there. Okay, so. And this is Ben. That must be how he got into the room. Good, so now I'm gonna take this acorn. I'm gonna give it to Marv. What do you think of this acorn? How many scales are painted on it? I am 14. Not interested so far. Real Fabergé acorns only have 13. Thanks, though. Okay, so we go back to the corridor and we take the acorn and we put it here. I think I'm missing something with that plan. I need to be able to paint. I need, I need like a thing to paint the acorn, you know? Yes. Okay. So if we find like a paintbrush somewhere. We could do that. Uh, let's go to the young yard then. There's a sign says it says beware there, and the dog is scratch out and they're written in animals. Got a good feeling about that. Yeah. This is handy. We plan a trip back out here for a while. Back? Do you come here often? Mr. Nichols goes on the side. The young yard is where they do my thrift shopping, detective. Okay, there's a fence. How oh, welcome. Graham says, no, no, long coat back again, too smelly in pockets, no, no, like. These guys, I thought we would lock away. No way, are these gremlins, like, for real? Is in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magic urn in the station, though. Not sure how they got here. Okay, I don't know, there's something on the old fridge over there, and there's a familiar looking box. This box is labeled Dorkside Trash. And this is a box of my stuff, but King must have thrown out case files out there when the division was closed down. That might explain how the gremlins came to be here. Okay. So it's... Queen's fault. My King, I guess. I bet uh, 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 one matching pair of socks that this will find its way into my local laundrette inside of the next seven days. Who wants a pair of matching socks? All my socks match. If I end up with a stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. It's a serving suggestion. I hope we find Dooley soon. This partnership is never gonna work out. Hey! Okay. Cop car. I wonder what happened to that. I don't know. Busted. Car truck. There's a family of raccoons in here and they do not seem happy to see us. Okay. It's a truck. I was hired to get a ghost out of a truck once. Turned out it was just pigeons roosting in it. There were ghost pigeons, but still, just not that exciting. Spike. Pull, pull, buzz, buzz. No feel fingers, no more. Still breaking every machine you touch, I see. Yes. All fridge. Smell food. Pull, pull, pull. I think they're hungry. I'm gonna give you the pizza. Probably shouldn't feed them out with a good reason. It's after midnight something uh, somewhere after all. Graham says, stay away, sticky fingers, Graham. No go in pants again. Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? Hmm. Blip, 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 blip. Me like noise machine, blip, blip. Carton of spoiled food. Stupid lady only gives good food. One, one. Junk food. What junk, junk jar with no junk food? All tube of solvent. Have used can of solvent. Soon to be fully used can. Okay, so we can use the solvent with this. I'm going to remove the SS scale pit bull on this. Real Faber J acorn. Okay, that's good. Muscle car. I wonder if I can feel the horse. Yeah, I wonder if I can 
feather a horse's ghost to this and get it running again. Family wagon. We had one of these when I was a kid. I shouldn't have been driving so young. Oh, weird. Can I give you the stale pizza grams? Probably shouldn't feed them. Junior says bleep bleep bleep. And they like spoiled food. Okay. So, first thing first, let's go to the TV station. Like a lot of side quests on this one. Okay, bro, I'm gonna give you the real fiber J acorn. 11, 12, 13, this is perfect. Where did you find it? I found it in an attic on a case. And we want it? Sure. Just unlocked my cabinet to put it in right now. Okay, the squirrel, now is my time, says Merle. What? Cough, cough. What the? Okay, the squirrel used the weird, you know, like gas. Oh no, Marv, that squirrel. He robbed your acorn collection. I had no idea. Relax, detective. I recognize him the moment he turned up for filming today. What? You don't collect Farber J acorns and don't know who Merle the Squirrel is. He's a master squirrel burglar. As soon as I saw him this morning, I knew he was here for the curse acorn I had just picked up. I had to act fast. I rang my brother-in-law, a shady guy named Pete. I know him. Yes, good time Pete, or something like that. His kid came over with some friends. While they cause a scene, I slip her the acorn to get it off sight. Damn it, Emily! I met up uh, once uh, she was safe away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to the auction house, which I happened to know Merle was casing. So he know where there was a fake on the scene. Okay, it's this guy then. Okay, precisely. So when you showed up, he took all the fake lock away acorns and ignored the real ones I had. Bingo. By the time he realizes what happened, it'd be too late. I'll have gotten this thing away to safety. Okay, good. So, sorry again about that, Marv. It's okay, the things we do for friendship are once uh, power morph into a giant robot to get a mate out of a jam. Huh? That's weird. So, speakers, impressive speakers. I guess you need them to edit all this footage. They're actually just fancy yogurt cartoons with some string. Sound is pretty good though. Okay. The tape. After all that, he didn't even put the ad on air. I uh, can't just put that on for you. You do that for me? We went to school together. Of course I would. Oh, thanks. Also, it's a public access. We kind of have to show any crap given to us. Okay. So, job done. Now to get back to the IT store. We're doing the things, see? We're doing the things. So, we're going to go to the IT store, which is over here. There you go, Mark. Here I am, on the TV. Quick, take this so I can watch myself. How does this work? What even is this? Where can I find the instructions? No idea. Soltech. Almost old enough to be in a museum or the likes. No hush. I'm on TV. You received Soviet tech. Okay. So, we should now go to the auction house and give the soviet tech to the lady no and in describe hunk of soviet technology whatever it is it looks sturdy i presume it's of a soviet battle mech can i use it to destroy this i don't recall what i was trying to do here maybe we should go to the junkyard Bro, do you have anything for me? No oh, fly salads, conversation, okay. No. So let's go to the young yard. And oh can I combine this? No. To machinery. Look, there are the wires. Hey bro, stop it, stop it. Oh no, they're gonna get crushed. We need to stop this machine. Magnet. If I ever uh, have to find a needle in a haystack, I know where to bring the haystack. A portable haystack? Come on. That can be a weird concept that gremlins or portals to a spooky the other world. It could be, it's locked. Employees only, bro. Excuse me, sorry, I can't hear you over the pistons repressuring for my next crush. 
Damn it, we don't have much time. We get this machine offline fast. Robotic birds. This. I think I'm missing something with that plan. The magnet. How do I get this all old pillar? A broken bit of pillar, the spooky wires. Television. That still looks functional. How do we save it? Crushing machine. Seems to be a repressuring its pistons to do it again. We need to find a break to break the crusher because it, before it flattens the wires. How are we going to break something that side? I don't know, but this is a jump jar. There's got to be something around it here that we can use. How about the Soviet tech? No. All fresh. I think they're hungry. Yes, they are hungry. I don't think that feeding them will hit the crusher. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna put this tail pizza here. This should loot the gremlins out here. Okay. Gremlins come over here, they bust the thing. Now to figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast. What? Okay, that's cheating. Give those bags. Now, sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want these wires, you'll need to find some stronger tech to power all this. How about this Soviet tech? I have something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Come up to the door and show me. Okay. I have detected one. Have you got instructions? No. So you want me to guess how it's installed? No deal. I need instructions. And I think I saw instructions in the auction house. Phone book. No, it was not here. It was in the black market thing. Books. Are those banned books? Selling them, they're legal. Burning the cavern. Okay. The transceiver. I know I saw the weird things. Oh, good time Charlie was his name. Hmm. It looks sturdy. So, where do we get the instructions? Cookie jar, box. Do you have the instructions, bro? Like the instructions for this. Where can I find the instructions? No idea. Uh, almost enough to be in a museum or the likes, not hush, I'm on TV. Let's go to the auction house and talk to this, to the lady. I won't find Dudley that way. I think some people will try to sell us. Uh, painting. Maybe the guy that's waiting in line at the pier? Bro, do you know about this? I don't recall what I was trying to do there here, no. Uh, organ pocket. Do you know this? And this? Where can I find instructions? Do you know this? Bins. Okay, I'm gonna see if you know about this. Robo Monkey. Hmm. Mark. Radio. Young jar switchboard. Cabinet papers, boxes. Okay, do you know anything about this? No. Do you know anything about that? 
now. Psychic toolbox. This is weird. Okay, let's think. We got an indescribable hunk of solving technology. Whatever it is, it looks sturdy. I presume it's a Soviet battle mech. The soulless robotic birdies. Gary. Was that Gale the ghost from the library? No. So where do we go? Auction house, Pier 13, TV station. Let me see if the TV station there's anything. Over here, nothing. Now go away, I don't size the staff. Uh, Marv, Ben. What's all this? I've been trying to write the script. Yes, I know. Sorry, guys, but uh, that. Okay. Do you know about this? Do you know about this? No. The stage. Camera, camera, small case, box, large case, medium case. He says in a museum. Okay, the, the most that we get similar to a museum is the auction house. Do you know this? Skull. Painting. Phone book. Podium to showroom Chairs Podium You know anything about this, bro? You won't find Dooley this way This place is so fancy, it has to be sinister, said Braxton. Yes Well, I'm a bit lost Someone from a stone in England Oh, Excalibur Worst field ever trophy awarded to the artist for trophy making. Stall. Uh, junkyard. Cop car. Familiar looking box. Washing machine. Truck. Car trunk. Old fridge, muscle car, family wagon, carton of spoiled food, broken console. Okay, Junior was playing with a Joy Child trademark, but it seems the screen is broken. There's only sound coming from it now. Okay, we got a broken Joy Child which we might be able to sell or something. Go to Pier 13. Do you like this, bro? Can you fix this? Looks like the discombobulator has been shaken loose. I just have to reattach it like this. Here you go. Thanks very much for the repair. Free for an all time like you. Like to do charity work for the elderly, so you know when it's my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep. You hit retirement age and either they accept you or your Logan's run. Anyway, put in a good word for me, okay? I'm not that... You know what? Thanks. I received a fixed joy child. Okay, so... One working handheld console. So it might be... For the kid? For you? Uh, for you? For you? Uh, for you? Should we 
me get a console, but I don't know what to do with the... Oh, I have an idea. Bro, do you want this? Hey, take this. You should keep you entertained until something better comes along. We, this is cheaper, we fella. How can I repay you? Help us move the bin, bro. Consider it done. In about four seconds, when it's actually done. He's strong. Thank you. Come on, Aaron. Ricky, sit in the TV and smash boy so Papa can wipe out this room. Nice. Okay, I should be able to wriggle through. I'll stay out here and keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than do this usually gives. That's not an excuse. I'm being helpful. Suspicious. What the hell is going on here? I'm no patties here, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. Yeah, you see these uh, birds, they are pooping, you know? And that's how you make the poops. I made the thing. I'm gonna get the cookies, jump to take some back to the folks in the forensic lab. Yes. I say no, we have no forensic lab. Okay, we got the sea hack cookies. Good. And we are going to do open conveyor bed, low grade cookie dough goes in one end and cooks on the liquid gets sprayed on. Yes, I'm gonna switch this to this. Oh, first, let's see, these cages seem to be connected to that bed. Yes, I'm gonna switch this. I don't think these birds would pass for the real ones. I need to cover up the metal coating first. Otherwise, the hack will notice the swap before it takes effect. Okay, stack of crates, boxes of ingredients, completely stacked for an easy escape route. Charter, let's see. We fair maidens give ourselves to the ocean and the things that live there. We pledge that what is dark and deep and hidden guides us to rise the sea level so many who never rise above the surface can reclaim the lands to sell cookies for good deeds. Good with an asterisk. She hacks know that moral morality is subjective. All in the name of deep mother is good and right and also just. Mm. Okay, we need to paint the cookie. I mean the... We need to paint the birds. Who would know how to paint the birds? This guy. Okay, first we're gonna give the cookie to this guy. Hey, bro. This is what you're looking for? Sweet divine, how did you get this and what do you want for them? I have to hang out some paintings. Could I borrow your tiny hammer? Shouldn't give this up, but I have powerful need for cookies. Sure thing, just don't go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll find yourself in over your head. Okay, we got the auction uh, gavel. Good. I can be the auctioneer now. I need to paint this. Can you paint them? No, this guy is going to paint them. You know, Mark. Mark, can you paint this? I don't recall what I was trying to do here. Uh, okay, let's go to the car. Who can paint those? Let's just for now drive to the auction house. We can enter this. Oh, the auctioneer is only back here. No hammer, no enter. I have the hammer, bro. What's this? The auctioneer's hammer. My auctioneer hammer. Yours? Mine. I've got the coat, the hammer, the fast talking skills need to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. I can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are all things to solve and rich people to appease. If we don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things like hunting the poor, doing unwanted missionary work, or worse, become landlords. We're doing God's work. Okay, now we can enter. Okay, what do we have here? Statue, great representation of an angel creeping up behind a man. Or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, detective. Angels were always sneaking up on people to give them books. Okay. A bust. Bust with eyes that follow you around the room. As if a bust with eyes wasn't weird enough. A jug. Never empty jug. Whoa, this is in the back room and not in for sale? Well, by the smell of it, whatever is never empty is both useless and disgusting. A loom has some beautiful notes carved into it. You should take it. What? Take it. When we're gonna get into a place like this again, don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks? Hey, you can look at this and think, I've, I've seen how the other half lives. That's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime. But something tells me that this will come in useful later. So you get your wish. Yay! At least until I find a use for it. Then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it? What? No, that's literary. I send it back to whatever it comes from. That's as noble as it is lame. Thanks. 
you receive item loom. Stringless loom, it has holes for the strings to plug in that could be useful. Great. Great of use markings. Security guard in pu published novels about a security guard who works at an auction house and is also globe-trotting treasure hunter and man of action. That sounds good actually, can I have one? Okay, yes. Soviet manual. An installation manual for all Soviet tech. It says you only need two installation tools, a hammer and a sickle. I have to imagine that a screwdriver will be handy too. You receive the Soviet manual. Another box, boxes of pamphlets. Raxa says, whoa, it's also backstagey. What would a rock concert is like? Can only presume so? Yes. Computer. Somebody's trying to hug this stuff online. Paper record for the sale. Nothing to use here. A thing. Let's go. Now we have the information for the guy in the young yard. Doing a lot of running around on this one. There's the manual, I have something for you. My eyes say isn't what it is to be. Come up to the door and show me. Have the stuff you want. New technology and instruction how to install it. Okay, okay, in you come. Here you go, super. Here are your wires, comrade. What did you call me? Constable? Mm. I receive an item, tangled wires. Art, these are similar markings to the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Why not? I have a pile of that stuff. Thank you. That's awesome. Gremlin art. You can find anything you need out there in the trashy wasteland. You just gotta be willing to get your hands dirty and your blood infected. Yes, I guess so. Plant and I fished that out of a whale's belly. How it got in there? I don't know. How it got in there is also a mystery to me. Oh. So, you know. That might be a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. Fridge. This fridge I got off the back of a fridge, fridge truck, which was on the back of a freighter, which had sunk just off the west coast. Interesting. Bunks. I built those out of discarded beds when I, I adopted the boys. Control panel. Hands off. Certified breakers only. Okay. Chair. Uh, I think we're good here. Who knew there was a lady and three gremlins living in the junk jar? Still couldn't afford to live here. Oh, crap. Okay. I need something to paint. Well, at least let's just go back to the switchboard. I'm gonna put this here. You need to find a way to detangle them first. Well, a ball of wires, the one we need are here somewhere, just need a way to sort them through. So like with the loom, I think I might be able to use this loom to unravel these wires. Worst case, we can play a fancy tune. Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument. Tell that to Bobby Threadbear. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna move the wires between the three nodes to entangle them so they're usable. Some parts of this adventure are less thrilling than others. This is new, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna move this over here. And move that. It's blocked by the wire on top. I need to unravel them in order. Oh, they are blocked by the wire on top. Okay, so can I move this and do this? And now do this. And now do that. And now do this. That's them unraveled. Now I know what to do the next time my headphone wires get wrecked. We receive untangled wires. Thank you. Why not just put them over here? Where do these go? Oh, stick them anywhere. You can move them in the mini game. I mean later. Okay. Oh, they're oh they they go over here. So this is not how they. Okay, can we do anything? I mean, obviously you should say it aloud for the the building. This is the device, but it seems to have torn it apart. It should be a dark side phone book. Transceiver. Okay, we need the transceiver and we need the other thing. Okay. Uh, how do I paint? Uh, we got the gremlin art. Let's go to the auction house. Okay. 
Can I just do this with this? I need to age them up somehow. Age them up. How do I age them up? Can I age them up here? Never empty. Uh, okay, where's the back room and not for sale? We got robot birds and we got. Uh, they're too fresh and clean looking. Hmm. How about I give this to this guy? Or this guy? Station. So, do this here? No. It needs to be somewhere nasty, you know? Oh, look at this! Makeup! I could do this with the makeup? A slap of this, a dash of that, we have this boat, uh, boat looking real in no time. Painted birds. Okay, that's really crappy. I think they can pass for normal. You and I have very different definitions of the word normal. I agree. I agree. So now we go to the pier, to the black market, over here, the alleyway, inside, I put these painted birds here. Okay, be free you little lovebirds, in you go, robotic doubles. Okay, can I... No, oh, okay. Cookies are good, charter to shop, bat. Something is certainly different. Okay, let's just go over here. Okay, they are gone. Just normal harmless, harmless man now. Or the cookies, oh lords, I get in and brush it. The nectar of the gods is in my mouth. I'm so happy. Organ bucket, second hand, okay. Can I enter the organ bucket? No? Enter the shop. Ugh, Miss Wumpus. Yes, Malicent? Something I ride with the Dutch Hoven. All the cookies, they've gone green. Oh no, oh no! Okay. A worker, beautiful work. If I find whoever it is, I'm gonna feed them to the very real and literal sharks. Can you age this somehow? Like this. Can I go over there? Mm. Okay. Bruh. You, I thought it worded this place against people like you. I did the thing. I can't see everyone is so miserable. That's my target audience, though, so sales are through the roof. But cheer up, your frown is ruining. Ruining? Yes, just ruining. General ruiner. I hate it. Smile or GTFO. Go try frowning otherwhere. This is a family show. For what is worth, detective, what those kids were at is far worse than this, I guess. Anyway, deals to deals. Here's your transceiver. Enjoy transceiver. You receive item. Transceiver. Okay, we got the transceiver. So we can go to the junkyard. No, not the junkyard. Sorry. We can go to the t uh, the switchboard, and we can install the transceiver. Here's the transceiver. I don't know what that does. Science, pseudoscience. What of those? Doesn't work without it, though. Okay, it is installed. The broken wire. I don't know if I can do something with that. Toolbox. What I need to do now is age these papers, the gremlin art. Too fresh and clean looking. About as good as modern art found stuck on fridges. So where can we age them? I think we could age them here. If we dunk this in here, that should brown and curl the pages so they look nice and old. Replacement pages. 
Okay, we're making progress now, people. We're getting into the rhythm, you know? Into the rhythm of... Things. Can we swap this? Perfect match. Not to make the switch, it seems like the only time the book will be out is in case when it's being auctioned. Now that I've shown them the gavel, they think I'm an auctioneer. Guess I could run the damn thing and do a suture then? Yes. Let's do the thing. Okay, can I do the... Okay, let's kick off this sloppy robbery. What? Nothing. Auction time. Okay, welcome inies and outies. Today we have this fine antique called Book of Sigils or whatever you all think it is. Can I get an opening bid? What's a good opening bid? Five? Can I get five? Rexa, swap the pages while I carry this on, on it. Yes, five. Five hundred. Five hundred? Five fuck Six. You can't go backwards, that's a rule, right? No, six hundred. Christ. Okay. Okay, pull it together, me. Right, I have 600, I want 700. Can I get 700? Any beats of 700? I, says Laura. I or 8? I. I'm done, detective. Sold. To the woman with the expressionless face for I. Wait, that's nonsense. That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You like getting rowdy? Do I need to use my gun? Grumble, grumble. Annoyed noises. I still don't know what I owe. You receive phone book pages. It worked! Good job. Let's get out of here. What about all the other auctions you have to do today? Or right, quit. Bye. Haha. <laughs> you jackass. Okay. That worked. Okay, so we go to the switchboard. Okay, I got the pages, lady. Phone book pages. I got this. Super, those symbols are like phone numbers. We have to work through them until we get through to your friends. That's everything. Time to st try calling duty. Okay, now what do I do? See those shapes? They're like numbers, like phone numbers. So start dialing. That's that's it? What if he's not at one of the numbers I have? You're thinking too normal. He'd be at one of them. How can you be so sure? I pick at the design document for this case, so trust me. Okay, here goes. Okay, so... I need to connect like this one with this one. Okay, this is like short. Crap. Okay, so I'll put that over there. This one over here. This one over here. And I need the long one. There. You see what we're doing? We're just moving them. Okay, that's that's the one. Dial the number. Anton says, you're darkling. Excuse me, is there a man in a police uniform there? Yeah, of course. And an army man, biker, construction worker, cowboy, and a Native American man. I don't think this is the right number. This is always the right number, Darkly. Okay, well. So. Uh, I need this one. This short one goes here. This one goes here, so for now I'm just gonna take it and put that over there. Okay, so this one goes here. Uh, this one goes there. Oh crap. Okay, so there. 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 I think that is right. Chief Ghouli. What's all this then? Chief Ghouli? McQueen? What is all you calling me out of force then? I think I have a lead on Dooley. Uh, I always call Dooley Doodley, you know? So, I'm going to call him indistinctively Dooley or Doodley. I, I kind of like Doodley, you know? So he, he's now Doodley. A way to bring him back through... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever you're up to is not legitimate channels. Uh, then you'd best not get me involved. 
All right, well, I, I guess I'll let you know how it goes. Best of luck, then. Of you, of you all. Yeah, that was not it, then. Okay, we got this one. So, things are getting weirder. So, there. Uh, I guess I have the two small ones here. Okay, that take care that takes care of that. That one goes there. And this one there. Gelator, who is this? Don't you know how hard it is for me to answer a phone? Oh sorry bro. I might have the wrong number. Wrong number! That has me quivering with anger. Okay, that's not the number. Okay, so just gotta check this one over here. Take this one over here. And that one there and there. Triasa, hello? Uh, hi, I'm wondering if you can tell me what the correct uh, glyph to solve this puzzle is. No, I didn't spend many designing this puzzle just so you could nag the solution out of me. Now, this game is launched, so leave me alone. Crap. Uh, okay, this one is still like that. And I'm guessing this is going to be here. This one is going to be here. Oh crap. Just gotta move that over there, you know? And this one, and this one. Nobody seems to be picking up. Is this not the right one? Okay, no, we need... That is the ball crap, you know? They should be interchangeable. But I guess I need the short ones here. Okay, so this one goes here. Don't call that sigil, says Rexa. Hello? Oh, hello? Hey, this is Rexa. Hello, who's there? Hang up, detective. Wrong number, sorry. All right, uh, bye. Okay, so there's a uh, dark side Rexa. How do you know she danced? Let's try the nerve sigils, shall we? Okay, so there's something suspicious about Rexa. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing we go with this one and this one. The other ones go here. Is that right? I think it is right. Officer Dooley! Hey Dooley! Hello! Dooley! De Detective? Is that you? Yes Dooley, it's me. Where are you? I hear music? I'm not sure. Evidently, everything is different here. It's so cold. Oh Dooley. Uh, it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. I think Doodly might be inside a fridge? Tell me where would you see Doodly and I'll get you home. Well, I can see the lakes from here, so I guess I'm inland a little. Sorry, detective. Geography here is a little messed up. Doodly, I can see a... And uh, there's a... Me. Doodly, you're breaking up. And here... In for me soon? Dooley, Dooley! He's gone, detective. Sigh. Took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him. Yeah, okay. I have a map of the city in my apartment that we can use. Let's go. Coming with. Now you want to come with? Well, get yes. Now it's getting interesting. Alright. You received Dooley's clues. Okay, let's go to the... Notes from the call with Dooley. Let's take them to empowerment and look them over. Okay. The apartment is now here. 
This is interesting, you know? It's going to be a long video and I'm going to upload it all in one sitting. And I'll get red sassies and nobody is watching this because I'm having fun. Because this is the Dark Side Detective. If you have watched the video all up to here, just please leave a comment and say I've watched the thing, you know? Well, this is it. Okay, so phone booth. This is the phone booth Dudley would call from when outside looking for a lift. Laundronet, my local laundronet. They take pride in poor service, which people seem to like ironically. I lost a top there. Gave them five stars. Excellent bad service. Yes. Affordable towers. Hey, I warn you that the call doesn't pay well. A window. That's where the superintendent watches from to make sure you don't have any guests over. I expect this interest will bite me in the ass at least review time, but if it saves duty, it's worth it. Okay, let's get to work. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that can get him back, if I know where he is. We have the clues, we'll just have to figure it out and gather the ritual components. Okay, cool, let's do this. There's a cat over here. It says meow. Hey there, PD. It's not a fitting time yet. PD, like police department? That's the one. I sense your line. PD star for placeholder duly. What? Told you I was psychic. Meow. That's weird. Gym bag. Bag of duty's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. Gonna need this. Gym bag. Okay. Coat stand. I have chalk in my pocket for the ritual. Okay, we got the chalk. A plant. How do you manage to kill the fake plant? I, I did. Bin. Ignore that, it's all rubbish notes from Befail's attempt to find Dudley. And what looks like a drawing of the two of you? What? I'm a doodler. Okay. Candles. I'm going to need these for the ritual. Receive item. Candles. Okay, so Rax says, okay, detective, I'm ready to go. Let's chase those clues. Computer. What's that? My computer. I didn't know you could get them so big. It must be so fast. Uh, she's being sassy. Conspiracy board. My map of clues from across the city. Whoa, never seen a real life crazy person board before. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, we do the, the Dudley's clue. Right, let's cross reference what Dudley say with my map and see if we can locate him. This is all the info I had on the city. I just have to find someone that matches what I know about where Dudley was. Okay, so. We have three clues. If we cross reference them with all this, we should find him. Yes, Lone Steady should do it. We'll scratch off everywhere he isn't and when was left. Easy. Okay, so. The Lullaby Ladies. Landsick 3. Bell. Granny Gruly. Spider. Hmm. This is weird. We were talking to Doodly on a phone. I could hear somebody playing music in the background. Dooley is somewhere inland. Okay. So, we got Noala, we got the poly tuplets. Okay. We got Dave the Tentacle. Legend on Dooley's schedule. Known portal here. Location of previous cases. I mark locations with any info that seem relevant. Okay. Hmm. So, what is this? These are our three clues. We just have to cross-reference them with all this data and we should find where Dooley is. Yeah, like you said, we'll check in person and place and scratch off everyone and everyone that isn't helpful. Okay, so. Granny Dool, Gooley. Okay, so. We were talking to Dooley on a phone. So I'm guessing here is not. Not. Uh, what is this? Blood Wolf badge. The first of many badges that Wolf Wolf Wolf's earned. Okay. The poly to plates. No. Lancet Lee. Okay, Lansik Lee. Mm. Can't see the twin lakes. Okay, 
Okay, so the twin lakes are here. The second lake is, is focused more on uh, business and of course terrible accidents. The cluster of island just off campsite where we met Nigel. Okay. Trout of this world. Okay. Steer silent. Lancet B. Bell. The lullaby ladies. The lullaby ladies. I'm just gonna turn all of this off. The lullaby ladies. Lone Lakers Mall. just have to cross-reference them with all this data. We should find where Dudley is. Like you said, we'll check every person and place and scratch off everyone and everything that isn't helpful. Known portal. Location of previous cases. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. So this is weird. We could hear somebody playing music in the background. The polytuplets. Spider. Granny Gooly. I, I don't know how this works. Mysterious land. I don't know what's on here. We're all meant to pretend it doesn't exist. The mysterious island. Okay. Don's Mansion. Oh! Don Corpson's Mansion, an ugly unburned mansion belonging to old Corpson, the soul of which is now running around losing the dark side in the body of his bright side counterpart, currently unoccupied. And this is a location of. Okay. Location of previous case. Known portal. On duty schedule. Trout of this world. Dudley's last known location before Genie whisked him away a year, a year ago. Okay, I'm gonna just take that away. Retirement home. The Twin Lakes are here. So I'm just going to Pier 13. Turns out the city main my market is located here, which apparently everyone knew but me, including Dudley. This is scheduled for look for gifts. Okay, I'm just gonna take that away. And I'm inland because I'm not seeing the Twin Lakes. Don's Mansion. Okay. So that's not it. The graveyard. Gully House. Chief Gully lives here in the dark side. Patricia, her husband, and Buzz visit as does Granny Gully. But no. I'm sorry. The graveyard. House of the Dead. Also seems to be the number one dating spot in Twin Lakes Dark Side counterpart. There's a portal in one's uh, mm. Long Lakes Mall. Dark side mega mall is full of abandoned shops that ponder to leave the fancy thing in. No. Library. House of books like the beginner's guide to disembowelment. Uber natural. The dark of summoning cold fold and the economic unrest. 26 sorrows. Spooky tales for troubled teens. This one is in the route, but there is no known portal. Hmm. This is the main precinct of Lone Lake and home of the Brightside Division, the criminally overfunded counterpart to Mike Darkside related department. This is now it because I could hear somebody playing music in the background. Laundromat. My local laundromat in the Brightside. No, this is not it. Chinatown. The only place in the city with no Chinese citizens. That's just not. 
switchboard. Now being destroyed in the dark side. Instead, they gave it a seat on the city council. It would have been expected to be useless, but turns out it's very well connected. Okay. Bells, BB's Baroness Banishing Bathroom, a restaurant which seems to be a place to go to have the people uh, layer extra clothes on you. No. Retirement home. In our world, it's a retirement home. In Dark Side, it's retirement homes. So a, a plane of houses that have had their mortgage paid off, so they're free to roam these acres in the old age. Campsite. Not an empty spot, it's on the bright side, but it does have its fair share of cult activity and people fleeing from serial killers. I don't think it's that one. Lady Carnivals, Flavorless Carnivals. If you think carnivals are garish places back home, you should see a dark side one. No Vince running shown here, so it's a little easier to understand, it's a little less charming. I'm gonna compare with clues. This location doesn't match all the clues. Okay, so it's not. Compare with clues. Okay. Compare with clues. Okay, I, I'm not sure about the thing. So we're going to do this by a process of just random, uh, you know, elimination. It doesn't match all the clues. Bells. What about bells? No, it doesn't match all the clues. The laundromat, maybe. That matches. I think we found him. My luck on dry demand in the bright side. Something always goes wrong with the wash, but my other options are a journey away. Okay, apparently this is... I don't know. I don't know the, you know, the, the rationale for... He's in the laundromat. He's outside this building. He's been, he's been waiting outside for me to find him. Well, you found him. Now let's go get him back. Yeah, to the roof. Okay. This will do. We can perform the ritual here. Okay. Raise block. Just need to mark some glyphs here, light some candles, and place down something of his. Okay, so mark the ritual. Draw this there, that goes here, and voila. Good. Candles. You just place this here, I have a lighter. Great. Something of duties. We put it back here. There's a burrito of that. That's everything. Now to see what happens. The wind is picking up. There's a lot of psychic energy. I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. Come on, Dudley. He's coming back. We did it. Detective. It worked. Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. Definitely worked. What was it like? Nobody has ever spent that long over there before. It was fine. Hard to get around. Terrible public transport. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. What? I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, detective. I knew you'd find a way. It's okay, doodly. Thanks. Sorry it took so long. Detective? Says Emily. Yeah? What's a prawn folder? A prawn folder? Okay, don't look at that. Meanwhile... Oh, something else is going to... Case closed. But a poster, a, a portal was, you know, like, open. We got an achievement. Answer the call. Case one, solve. Solve, you know, missing, presumed dark side. Yes. Awesome. Okay, what is this? This probably, yeah, like, does nothing. Are you sure you want to keep the, the, quit the game? Oh yeah, we're gonna quit the game because we solved the first case in only two, like, I don't know, two and a half hours or something like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. See you next time. On the dark roads of Montana There's a shadow in the 
dirt The whisper of a mountaineer In a ragged flannel shirt He walks the stony hillsides With his mandolin in hand But you'll never see his face around this long forgotten land